energy Tai Chi is very important part <coughs> energy <coughs> and the breathing. <coughs> so that is very important to get that. Okay. Now <coughs> the next thing is um, we're gonna talk about the structure. Everything needs a structure. Okay. So the structure involved with our bones. So um, seeing the humankind, we have so much study about the building structure. <clears throat> so what kind of structure you can last really long and you can, can build very tall. Okay? And um, Tai Chi is one of the very uh, ancient way to learn how human structure is supposed to be. And definitely in that time, <clears throat> it involved with the power and the force. So they discover a few simple structures that can hold the force more than a normal one. Okay. So um, if we do like this, we put something like this. Okay. When a lot of force, it will break the arm here and break uh, the shoulder here and the whole force go back into your shoulder and block the so shoulder. So that is one thing. So they discover the structure is that you have to align the structure. Okay, align the structure. So the theory, we already go to that theory we call in the curve, find the streak. Okay? So when you make the L9 and radius straight. You push, it block. It will block this. <clears throat> block, block the bone. Okay. Now, when you can twist and turn, so if you hold your elbow, you hold your elbow, and, and you keep the elbow in. So the theory also have said in, but not in, out but not out, okay? So there are a few things that in the Tai Chi, is, is that in the theory of the Tai Chi, yin-yang balance, sit but not sit, in but not in, out but not out, okay? So how is in but not in? So for example, you, put, you, you pull your elbow, you pull your elbow like this, it's too much in, right? Now, if you, so your hand pull you in too much, and you're too much in. Now, if the elbow push out like this, it's too much out, right? So when you're too much out, what do you get? There's no force. So when you in, but not in, out, but not out. So it's just like, now, the elbow try to go out a little bit, and the hand try to pull in a little bit, so you feel a, a balancing force. You get that? You feel a, even balancing force, okay? So that's one. So you understand the in but not in, out but not out, okay? Clear? So when you get it, you feel a, a force. A force, try to hold, a force that want to go out, a force want to go in, okay? In but not in, so in but not in, out but not out, and you feel a force equal. So you start with in but not in, out but not out, and an equal force is the force, okay? So it's very important, okay? And that's what the UN discovered this is the truth. So every country has very equal forces. Nobody can invent, nobody can overtake anybody. And now we, we know that when we join as a group, join as a, a, a union, Everybody have their own independent and have the force quite equal. That is, a, that is a, the, the United Nations, you know. Okay. okay. Now, the next theory, I tell you, I don't want you to get too much theory, but you have to learn, <laughs> you know. So that's why when you get much, too much theory, you cannot relax enough to do the Tai Chi and you're going to feel the Chi. That's why the Tai Chi sometimes is quite difficult because 
you have to be relaxed enough, you have to get the structure, you have to get the force, you have to get everything. After that, you're so busy in the mind. <laughs> okay. so, um, so in the curve, if you hold the elbow in, so we call in the curve, so you twist your elna and radius. Elna and radius. Okay? So when you twist your elna radius and you try to push out, okay, you try to push it out and you feel that it's very tension. In this way, you get the what we call by the, um, the tension power. The tension power. Okay? So um um, so that is we call the in, but not in. A, 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 in the curve, so you make a curve, and you try to make it straight. Okay. Now, the Tai Chi talk about the we call tendon and muscle tendons meridians. Now the West, this is what the Tao uh, style study the tendon, uh, muscle tendon meridian. Now the West discovered it very similar with the tendon, uh, tendon, uh, muscle tendon meridian, what they, uh, they do, and um, they, they even picture them very old time ago. Okay? And they look very similar. Uh, first thing, we have a lot of tendons in the arm. So human tendon in the arm is very amazing, okay? And uh, we, we, we develop them into one level. We can do a very incredible fine thing, okay? So um, you have the uh, elna and radius. So when you hold and you turn, you get the power. Now, you get the twist now. In the curve, you turn, we call twist, or curve. You curve. Now, after you curve, you hold it, and you try to make it straight. When you try to make it straight, it's very hard for you to make it straight. Okay? Now, if you loosen the tension, like this, you can go like this. But when you go like this, you're going to broken your elbow and the wrist. Uh, 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 the el the shoulder and the elbow, you broke. But if you go like this, you, you do not. Like this, you can transfer force. Okay? So um, there are a few things that we want to do the practice. You hold both hands. Both hold hands. Hold like this. So have the person hold you, but not too tight. So you can hold enough. You can twist, you see? So you could hold twist. Not too tight. Not too tight. So, okay. Turn. Now you turn. You turn this way. Ho, oh, oh. ho. But not too tight. Okay. So you, you turn. And you turn. Okay. And you turn. So, so you see? You turn. And you turn. Ho. Oh. So you turn. Now you have to hold. Come up this way. Now. So you turn. Okay. So in this way, you feel that like this, no resistance. No, re no resistance, you don't feel it. But when you have hold it, you have a resistance. See that? You have a resistance. You, you have a resistance. And you have a resistance. Okay. In this way, you are training all the tendons. You're training all the tendons, okay? all the tendons stronger. Okay? Now, when you curve, you have a power and you tighten it, you get a power. So we call, we call an unbendable arm. You see here? Um, so um, if I make my arm like, like this straight and it pull me, I go. But if I bend and I curve like this, my elbow down, I bend a little bit, he cannot bend my arm because I transfer the force to him or I transfer the force to the ground. 
So it's um, no matter how big, how tall you are, if I transfer your own force to your own shoulder, you know it to do anything. You see? <coughs> you, you see the point there? Eh? But if you, if you don't bend your arm enough, if you go like this, you hurt your elbow. You see? But if you twist, you twist, elbow sink, elbow cannot be like this. So in the Taoism, the Tai Chi, they said, don't get your elbow up. Okay? And they always say, you overturn your bow. You get a, a, rice, a, a bowl of rice and you turn like this. So we call overturn the bowl. So I don't know why they say that, but um, I know nobody's going to be, get the bowl like this and turn it like that. So when you go, when you go like this, you overturn your bowl. And you have no, no structure. So always elbow pointed to the ground. And this one you twist like this. That's why the, the pushing. You're going to go like this. You get hurt. 100% you get hurt. You push anything when you really push it, unless you never push anything. <laughs> okay? And you have no problem. Okay? But you really want to use it for anything. If you push anything, if you go like this, boom. All the force comes to your elbow, to your shoulder, and not to your neck. And you get big trouble for that. Okay? So that we call unbendable arm. Elbow pointed. And you can just hold it. When he pulled me, he forced that he pulled on me, transfer to him. So it's not on me. Okay? So now let's try to do it. You see? So you do it intentionally like this. Inhale. Exhale. A little bit tension on the elbow and the wrist, and you slowly turn. Feel you twisting the elbow, the wrist. Okay? Now, you pushing out, pushing out. Now, to get more power, you put your chin and you lightly round your back a little bit, but not too much curve. Okay? And you press your leg. Okay. So, if you look at the picture on the front there, this is exactly what you do. This is exactly what the slide is showing you. Okay? So now, rest, okay? Now, I explain to you why. Your, aunt, your, aunt, your finger has all the tendons, and this is tendon that go right into the muscle and to the bones. And from here, connecting to another muscle and tendon, and go to the arm, and connecting to the, to the head, right? You see that? And from this muscle, also extend it down to the spine. Do you see that? Right? Now, the other one, this muscle, is go from the whole spine. Okay? From the whole spine and go down to the leg and go to the, to the feet, uh, to the toes. Each toes also have tremendous, tremendous tendon. Okay? So, so these are two big commons. This one connecting to the head right to here, right here. This one also connecting to the head, okay? So what I try to show you that if you put your neck like this, when you push, okay? What happened to the muscle on the neck there? Nothing. Because everything, if the neck muscle don't connect, mean the rest of the tendon meridian not connecting, okay? So a very simple do is that when you push your chin like this, you exhale, chin, inhale, exhale, chin. It's very important because this muscle is here, is connecting to every part of the body. So you see here, here the neck. So we have the, this muscle actually controlling the atlas and the second vertebra, a second uh, cervical, okay? Because the whole head can, can go like this, can go like this, can go like this. It's a, a lot of this muscle control, okay? And if you, if you, you get a scalp when there's no muscle, <laughs> you, fall, you fall apart into pieces, okay? When there are no muscle, no tendon, nothing, fall, they fall down. So when you, 
So the neck, when you push the neck, then put the chin down and make the hair strong, and you get the power. And that is the pushing. Here is the pushing, this one, that you will do in Ayin Chut Qigong. Okay? So, and you relax, use the, use the, the palm. Okay? And, okay, the chin push. Okay? So that, the chin push is very important. You need that power to get all the muscle aligned all the way down to the toes. You need that mus- this muscle. So when the chin don't push, there's no, mus- no power. So you start with very gentle. Okay. Now, you see, if I, if I push like this, this nothing happened. Okay. We call this muscle, muscle tendon meridian, connect and tie surface of the body. So this is a muscle, muscle, muscle tendon meridian connecting to the entire surface of the body. Okay. So um, from the scalp, uh, sacral tuberous ligaments, it's a big ligament, okay. lumbar fascia, occipital ridge, all here are connecting here. And in this one, you see here, this one, when you go like this, no. It's just like, like this way we say, the arrow, haven't, you haven't pulled the arrow, uh, uh, the bow. You haven't pulled the bow. But when you go like this, you're chasing the back round. So what happened? The erectile spine uh, is the track of the muscle tendon. This muscle, this muscle here, muscle run from the sacrum and occipital the fascia running from the sacrum tuberous ligament to the scalp fascia. So this one, on the right, are some of the underlying are local and transverse. So, so when you do like this, you're moving the, this muscle, but you do like this, no. Okay? And when you do, when you understand the Tao Ying, you do like this, Lower lumbar, lower thoracic, middle, upper, and the cervical. So all these local transverse uh, spinal cord is deeper of the spinal cord muscular uh, in the three primary pattern. It moves. Okay? Otherwise, we have no, the muscle become too weak and we cannot move it. If, we, if you do Tai Chi like this, There's your neck and your shoulder, right? There are no, no Tai Chi there. No power, nothing gain. You nothing gain, nothing lose. <laughs> so, okay. so when you sing, relax, lower lumbar, lower thoracic, middle, upper, and you turn. And you lower lumbar, lower thoracic, Middle, upper, and you push. So in this, when you do this, all this muscle in the between here ro- rotate into spinal cord, into transverse spinal cord here, are moving, whole spine moving, rather than you move like that. There's only this part. So that way the Tai Chi if you understand it, it's very important to do it right. The structure part is a little bit more, okay? So let's do this, um, this one. You have to feel you like a bow, you see? But not like this. Like this is, is not a bow. <laughs> it's too much. Like this, nothing, okay? Like this, circum tuck in lumbar round and the chest sink and the chin push, okay? And that's all the structure of the Iron Church. And you feel each station have power. And this is so vital to your spine, okay? If you train it, your spine strong, 
you cannot get hurt easily. People now have a very weak spine because they never train it right. Okay? You have to think you like your spinal cord like a bow. Okay? You have to feel a tension on the light tension, some tension in the spinal cord. When you pull the bow, right? When you pull the bow. When you pull the bow, when you pull like this, there's no bow. There's nothing there. When you push like this, circum, circum tuck in, lumbar round, T11, C7, base of the scalp, and the crown. And so you get the spinal cord with strength. Now, the two things that, now, two things that um, you do is one thing is that you feel you are relaxed. You tense a little bit. Ten. And when you inhale, you relax. Exhale, you tense. So in this way, in the Tao set, you are creating the Jing. Okay? Jing means potential power. Okay? What is Jing? It's a rubber, okay? A tendon, a rubber. You have a big rubber. If you leave the rubber, rubber band, big rubber band. If you leave the rubber there, there's no jing. If you pull the rubber and you go like this, stretch it, what do you get? You get the jing, the tendon power. And if you have something connecting with the jing and you release them, you get the potential power release. And that is how, and the spy is the major one. If you don't get the spy, you cannot get the other one. Okay? So, um, you see here, so you see, press your leg. So the leg, very important, you press your leg. And exhale, circum, lumbar, T11, C7, base of the scalp. And, not too much, not too little, and you feel your spinal cord have power, have the tendon power, like you're stretching a, a tendon, feel the power, and you can, so when you get it, when you can connect it to the arm, when you release, you get the power. And you really get the power, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh, let me see. Feel the jing. Feel the jing. Feel the... It's so simple. You feel your bow are pulling with strength, with power. It, 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 when you get it, it's quite soft. Jing is not, not, not muscle. Okay, you look, here is muscle. This is muscle, okay? Jing is very soft, but have a tendon power, you see? When people pull the arrow, the bow, that's it. You hold it, very soft. But when you release it, boom, phew, the, bar, the, the, the tendon power. We have the most tendon in the body. We have so much tendon, especially the spine. There is a big ligament, tendon, muscle tendon meridians, muscle tendon. We have one of the biggest muscle tendon meridians on the spine. And the... Um, the um, in the olden time, when they used the bow or arrow, or the bow, they used the tendon, this tendon on the spine of the cow. Sometimes they believe that tiger have big one. You know? <laughs> so they get a tiger <laughs> tendon to make the bow, arrow, you know, to shoot. Because it's a very big tendon. Okay. So, um, 
Now, when you do this one, your sacrum and the cranium have to be aligned. Okay? It activates. So you see here, when I'm releasing it like this, when I activate it, round, and the chin push, I activate the sacrum. Okay? Now, let's just let's start over again. Start the, get the, the arm, here, hand chin, here. Okay? So you see? Turn and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Ex now. Turn. Exhale. Stretch. To, to me, you know, I tell you like this. Okay? Now, when I twist my elbow, when I twist my tendon, okay, if my elbow down, I feel the twist. And if I try to stretch it out, if I try to stretch out, I cannot make it straight unless you pull my whole elbow out. That's it. Okay? But if I lose the tension, so this is the training of the tendon. If I lose the tension, I go like this, elbow out, I can go straight. You see the point there? Eh? Everybody see the point there? Eh? Huh? So, this one, beginning of the jing. Okay? So, if you do Tai Chi like this, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Then no jing there. So, we call tofu Tai Chi. <laughs> tofu. Very soft like tofu. <laughs> okay? No jing. Okay? The jing... It's also very soft. When you do the jing, it's very soft. But you have the jing. You feel the jing. So you see, I cock the jing. It's just like you're cocking uh, the bow. Uh, when, they, when, we develop into the, when they develop into the crossbow, big one. Okay? That's very big. There are few people who have to pull them. And you have to pull in the stages. You pull and you lock. And you have not a few people who can pull and you lock. And you pull and you lock. So it's, we call cocking the jing. Okay? So you see, I press the ground, I'm going to jump. Okay? The force that I'm going to jump, but I not jump. You see? So we call jump, but not jump. Right? So let's try. Okay? Jump. Let's jump first. Jump. 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 So you jump. <laughs> okay. So you jump. That's it. Okay. Now, how are you going to do is jump but not jump. Right? How are you going to do that? Jump but not jump. So the whole theory is very simple. You get the jumping power. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. But I get the power that I'm going to jump transfer into my tendon. Okay? So the so whole theory is that we have many tendons. Especially the joints have many tendons. Okay? All the joints have many tendons. So when I start with the leg, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump, but I'm not jump. So when I cock one jump, I store a jing in one joint. Now I cock second time, Jump, it come up to my knee. Now third time, come up to my hip. Third time, into my fourth, into my lumbar. And fifth, and sixth, and finally. So I store a lot of jing in my tendon and ligament. Now in the Tai Chi, they like to store the jing in there, but they don't release it when you don't need it. So very different from... <laughs> so every day... You release the jing even you don't do anything. So in a Tao said, look, when the people that do this, when they get older, what happened? There are no jing. It's gone, finished. Okay? But when you cock the jing, now I hold the jing. 
I spread all the jing into the, 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 the joint and the ligament and tendon, and I'm releasing it. I relax, the jing still stored there. The jing still stored there. So um, nowadays, you can explain much easier. You put a bullet, that's it. You store the jing there. Okay? If you never use it, you have the bullet there. <laughs> you have the jing always stored there. Until you took a boom, you go. And then you release the jing. You see? When the jing is released, what do you get? You no more jing, no more power. Right? If I... Nowadays, it's very hard to say because everybody can pack. Uh, a revolver, you have five bullets. And in, in the automatic pistol, you have 36 bullets. You know? Boom, 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 boom. So they store 36 potential power in there. In the olden time, in the beginning when they make the gun, they, they put the gunpowder and put the bullet and boom. After that, have to run away and put the gunpowder and put the hero and boom. You know? So that is a very slow Ah, jing, you know, you have no way to, you, you, by the time when, they, when you try to put the gunpowder down, they already chop your head off, you know, <laughs> too slow, you know, and they, they keep on evolving, you know, and eventually get a, get a, a potential power more, 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 more. Now, the, another important part is this. If somebody get a bow and get an arrow and, and cock the bow like this, full bow and point it at you and talk to you. And wh- how you feel? <laughs> he has power, that right? <laughs> okay. He has power, right? So he tells you, you better kneel down. <laughs> okay. He will do it. You know? okay. So he um, has power. But if I shoot you and you dot, what happened? Have no more power. Right? Because I have to be, get the arrow and I pull you again. It's, it's the same thing like a gun. If I shoot you one, boom. But if I, if I have five chance, and I sh- if the revival have five bullets, I shoot you five bullets, and you meet you five bullets, what happens? You, mo- you lose the power, right? Now I have to take out, I have to put in, and that is, a, <laughs> it's a take a while to put all the bullets in and to shoot you again. And at that time, you get the power. If you have a knife, you jump on me, finish. So the whole thing is about talking about the jing. You get that? You understand that? It's a long, long, long story about <laughs> the jing. <laughs> okay? So you understand that if you don't get it, the jing is very soft and not hard. If you go like this, and that is the muscle power. But if you go like this, the power stretches out from the jing, from the, from the joy and ligament. Okay? Okay? Jump. Okay? Jump. 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 So the first thing you're going to get is from the jump. Okay? So now you're going to... You jump, but you not jump. How are you going to do it? Okay? So you go down. And you're going to jump. You see? Jump. Jump. You feel your knee... And then are uh, stretching because you store the jing there. Jump. Jump. The knee, lightly open. Your knee, lightly open. You're going to jump, but you're not jump. Press hard to the ground. Press hard to the ground. No, don't stand up too much. You lose your jing if you stand up too high. Just watch me. You don't stand up too high. You press up, and you push up. It actually, I feel that my ten. Actually, what I feel, I feel my tendons and the joy are open, and that is the jing. And the Tao believe that we can store the jing in the joys. We can store the jing in the joys, tendon, ligament. 
Okay? Get it? I don't blame you. Olden time, they don't teach this way to me. <laughs> they don't teach it to me. I have to do it and do it and do it. And every day, say, yeah, no jing, no jing, not right. You know? But finally, say, what is jing? <laughs> okay. okay. Press. Press firm to the ground. You sink down a little bit. And you're going to do with jump, but not jump. Now you transfer the force up to the sacrum, and sacrum, and the lumbar. T11, and C7, chin. Now elbow, shoulder, and elbow. So you feel all the joy store the chin. All the joy, all the joy store the chin. And you relax, chin. You store the chin there. And you, you screw, you screw your leg to the ground, okay? You screw, you see? Um, I put a little bit more intentionally for you to see, you see? I screw to the ground. Oh, not very good word, huh? not very nice word, okay? You screw to the ground, okay? And you jump, okay? You jump. And you're pushing out. Jump, but not jump. So let me see you. You don't have to use too much force. You just do every day. It grow, and your tendon grow. Tendon grow. Press hard to the ground. And you're going to jump. And everybody understand that? Jump, but not jump? Hmm? Hello? Understand? Jump but not jump. Very simple. You try to jump but you not jump. That's it. Okay. <laughs> but now, what you have to do is you try to jump, but you not jump. But the force that you're going to jump, you transfer it. You see that? It's all the motor is loose like that. When the motor spin, it transfer the force into the axis and go to this. The car the same. You see? The it spin, okay? So the spinning force transfer into the axis and axis spinning and it go. That's how it work that way. Chain leg. Tendon. And the leg tendons. Remember tendons and ligament. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, relax. Exhale, not too strong, just lightly feel the tendon. Inhale, relaxing. Exhale. Inhale, relax. Exhale. Feel the tendon. Soft and gentle, but very forceful, very thoughtful. Let's put this tendon power into your structure and into your form, okay? And when you stress the tendon, you're going to feel more power, more power, okay? So um, remember, you have to feel the jing, the jing, okay? The jing is just a rubber stretch, right? When you don't stress the rubber, there's no jing. When you stress the rubber, you get the jing. If you release it, boom, you have a power power. And that is the jing. And we have a lot of tendons. The biggest tendon in the hand and in the legs. That's why you can do that. This time. You know, when you do like this, there's a lot of power. You know that? How, how, just calculate what is your weight, right? What is your weight? And to, for that weight to bow you up and down, there are a lot of tendon power to do that, okay? I mean, we cannot compare to the animal. They have much bigger tendon. So that's why the, Chin the Chinese always think that 
because they discovered the deer run very fast. They run and jump and run and jump and all the way, you know. And if, if you if you face to uh, if you head to head running with the with the tiger or the lions, they outrun them. <laughs> they outrun outrun them, you know. So that way, tiger and a lion, that if they don't sneak down and and try to get it, there's no way to get it. So they usually the the deer can run away from that. They run very fast. So um. So they have um. So they always like to eat the the leg tendon of the deer, you know. So they believe that if you eat the leg tendon of the deer, and you can walk better and you can move better <laughs> tendon of the deer. <laughs> so it's a very powerful tendon. Sing your mind out to the heart. Heart control all the tendons of the body. Because when the heart pumps, it goes to every part of the body. So that is the biggest tendon in the body, the heart. And sinking down. Step and inhale and exhale. Now inhale very slowly, feel the chi follow with you. Now tendon, press, you bend, now intentionally bend your back a little bit. Exhale, circum, rumba round, like you're shooting an elbow out. Inhale, relax your spine. Exhale. Inhale, holding the chi ball. Now put all your weight on the left leg and very gently lift up your right leg. Step, come up, and word off. Now, word off the same. You cock and you jump, but not jump, and you push. So you have to sink down a little bit and you're gonna jump. And you're going to jump. And you're going to jump. Okay? Now, sinking down. Sinking down. See. Roll back. Lower lumbar. Lower thoracic. Upper. Turn. And move. And push. Now, press. Sinking down, sinking down, sing, open your lumbar. Now, this is more, all the tendon power, jump but not jump, jump but not jump, and sinking down, turn, and sinking back down, and out. And step out and out. Stretch your tendon. Stretch your tendon. Okay? Okay, rest. Very important part. All the Tai Chi is using the structure, tendon, ligament, and the muscle tendon meridian. Okay? So we don't use a lot of muscle. We don't use a lot of muscle. So when you are stretch your tendon, it has to be feel soft, you see. So you see here. You see, I bend the back, lumbar round, and pushing out. Now when I push out, my, my scabra move, there's a tendon. My shoulder open, my elbow open, and my wrist open. I haven't moved my body at all. You get the point there? Eh? All I do is I open my joints and stress my tendon and ligament. So when you stretch your tendon and ligament, what do you get? You get the jing, the potential. We call it potential power. Okay? A potential power is the power can store. 
It's called potential. You can store and store and store and store and you get more power. Okay? So, I'm pushing out. My lumbar push. The tendon pushing here. My scapula, my shoulder, my elbow, and my wrist. So you feel me extend out, but I haven't moved at all. Well, I haven't moved at all. It's all, if I put all the joint together, a little bit, little bit joint open, if you put that together, how much you get? A lot. <laughs> right? If you go like this, there is a muscle moving and the bone. No tendons. So if you don't do the tendons, when you get old, you get nothing. And that is written down in so many textbooks in the Tao. When people practicing martial art and they don't practice on the tendon and the tendon muscle ter meridian, when they get old, they get nothing out of it. So it's a very, very strong statement and very clear statement. Okay? So you see here, the tendon. You sing. Now, tendon. It's not very strong, but you feel the fall from inside. Internal tendon muscle material power come out. And you sing. See? So all the tendon power. I jump, but not jump. I jump and I transfer the force. And I jump and I transfer the force up into my tendon and I stretch my tendon. Okay? It's um, rewire your brain to understand it <clears throat> and to make it work. Because we don't have that kind of training. So the mind says, I don't know. <laughs> but you, you, but you have it inside you. You have tendon ligament inside you. Okay? You, so that is how the, the potential power, the gene, have to be understood. Okay?